We continue now with you, Miss Puerto Rico. She's Deborah Carthy Du. She's 19, lives in San Juan. She attends the University of Puerto Rico. And what do you study? I'm studying humanities, and I would like to major in theater and have a minor in languages. Now, to qualify as a Miss Universe contestant, our young ladies must win other pageants in their home countries, and yours were particularly exciting, weren't they? Why don't you tell our viewers about your pageants? Okay, my first pageant was to win uh, the Miss San Juan title, and it was quite exciting because we had a big fire on stage on our opening number, and it was quite scary, let me tell you, because we had to go out and be removed uh, from the stage by the firemen and the water. Oh, huge mess. And then we had to wait for four hours for it to go on again. And finally, at 5.30 a.m., I was crowned as Miss San Juan. Then I got chicken pox, and then I went into the Miss Puerto Rico pageant and it rained all night long, and it was outdoors. Now you see, just to be here in Miami, she has gone through fire, flood, everything but pestilence to be with us tonight. Thank you, Ms. Puerto Rico. Ms. Zaire, please, and she will want an interpreter. She is Benita Marika Tete, 18, lives in Kinshasa. She's a high school student. Ask her what she plans to do when she finishes high school, please. Qu'est-ce que vous projetez faire une fois que vous ayez fini votre bachot? Mon mon quoi? Pardon? Qu'est-ce que vous avez dit? J'ai pas bien compris. I did not understand that fully. You... She does not understand that fully, or you do not understand that fully? <laughs> <laughs> I think they have their own show going here. When she graduates from high school, what does she want to do? Une fois que vous ayez fini avec vos, vos études, qu'est-ce que vous voulez faire? Je, devais, je voudrais faire euh, la secrétariat. Je voudrais bien être une secrétaire de direction. I would like to become a secretary. I'd like to become an executive secretary. Et après ça, faire l'esthétique, être une esthéticienne. And uh, after that, I'd like to become a cosmetologist. Uh... More? <laughs> Et puis? No, please, That's please, enough. Please. Huh? Well, now, uh, many of our viewers probably know very little about Zaire. Ask her to tell them about her country. Nous connaissons très peu à l'égard de votre pays, mm. Zaire. Uh, Pouvez-vous nous décrire un peu le pays? Uh, ça se trouve dans l'Afrique centrale, vers l'ouest. It is located in Central Africa. Mm. Well, we did know that. Yes, but uh, are the mountains or is it desert or what? Nous savions ça déjà. Alors, yeah. mais y a-t-il des montagnes? Est-ce qu'il y a beaucoup de déserts? Oui, il n'y a pas tellement de montagnes ni de déserts. No, there aren't that many mountains and there isn't that much desert. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they have in Zaire. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come over here, Miss USA. She is Laura Martinez Herring, age 21. She lives in El Paso. And on May 13th, I crowned you Miss USA. And were they excited in Texas when you went home from the USA pageant? My gosh, they sure were. Um, I arrived and there was about 2,500 people waiting for me at the airport and the plane arrived an hour and a half late. They all had balloons and they had little badges saying, we love you, Laura. And um, they went through a parade and they had mariachis, 70 children dancing and uh, they made up a song for me. It was incredible. And uh, is it true that in addition to everything that you won on the Miss USA pageant, that they came up with $55,000 more in prizes in Texas? Yes, they did. Uh, individual people, friends and everything, they contributed and they gave me these prizes. And for me, the best feeling was uh, just for them to have taken the time and the support and the love. I could not believe how happy they were and uh, that week I was just full, that day, it was in 24 hours, I was full of appearances and uh, children crying with flowers and they shriveled up a million dollars in the parade. It was very, very nice. $55,000. I'd like to have you folks in Los Angeles know I'll be home tomorrow if you'd like to make plans. <laughs> Thank you, Miss USA. It's your turn, Miss Spain. 
She would like to have an interpreter. She is Teresa Sanchez, age 20, lives in Sevilla, and she is a model. I, uh, many of the young ladies watching the telecast would like to be models. Ask her what advice she has for young ladies who want to be models. Muchas de las chicas que están mirando este tele quisieran ser maniquís. ¿Qué consejos le pudiera dar a aquellas que desean ser maniquí? Bueno, yo empecé desde muy pequeñita, desde que tenía 10 años a, a ser modelo. Entonces yo lo único que les digo es que si les gusta, que sigan adelante. Well, I started quite young, when I was about 10 years old, that's when I first became a model. And I can tell them that if they do like it, they should proceed with it. Very well. Now, you can speak some English. ¿Qué puede decir en inglés? I love Miami. Well, <laughs> We'll stop with that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Miss Venezuela. She too will have an interpreter stand by, but you may not use the interpreter. All right. She is Silvia Martinez, 20, lives in Caracas. She's a law student, and uh, our interpreter will stand by, but you may be able to do this in English. You're studying law. Yes. How long, how many more years before you become an attorney? Well, I have two more years left to become a law. And then what type of law, what kind of law will you practice? I like very much mercantile. I think I will work in mercantile law. Uh, is this your first visit to the United States? No, I came here before when I was a little girl. I have some family here in Michigan. Michigan? Yes. What, uh, did you see any more of the United States? Yes, I have other, other family in New Jersey, New York, and Arkansas. In Arkansas? Yes, my grandparents. They live in Arkansas? Yes. How, why did they choose Arkansas? Because it was too cold for them in Michigan. In well, if... <laughs> If you're going to retire in the United States and it's too cold in Michigan, there's not much left but Arkansas, right? And in Arkansas, it's too hot, I it's, think. It is warm there, but it's yes. lovely. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. Thank you. There you have it. You know our semi-finalist a little better. And I have a hunch that a lot of you have changed from viewers to rooters. Bob is right. A lot of you, I'd say most of you, are starting to root for some of our contestants. At least our live audience here is. Maybe you've made your choice already. In the interview competition, the judges gave the highest score to Miss Spain. Second place was Miss Venezuela. And third place went to Miss Zaire. Coming up, you'll get to meet those celebrity judges and enjoy the music of John Denver, my favorite. And that's right after this word from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the 1985 Miss Universe pageant.